We walk on tiles every day, we touch them and we are surrounded by them. Yet, how little do we know about tiles? Once the choice of emperors and the privileged for centuries, porcelain tiles are easily available today for our own little castles. They have evolved to become a lifestyle statement and even follow trends. Even tiles have evolved to be more of a luxurious fashion material. It's not so much about the functionality anymore. Functionality, quality is given. So now it's all about aspiration. It's all about design. It's all about saying, who am I? What am I? You know, it's all about getting to express your lifestyle. This looks and feels just like my own bedroom, except I'm here at the MML showroom in Pataling Jaya, Selangor. Tiles have come a long way. In 1964, MML was the pioneering tile maker in Malaysia. They opened with a small mosaic factory in Kluang, Johor and has grown to become one of Malaysia's largest tile producers. Today, tiles are inspired by the natural elements it is made from. They look and feel like natural stone and clay and they are inspired by the patterns and the textures of leaves, raindrops and pearls. They are even metallic and multi-coloured. Tiles are anything but boring today. So, ever wondered how tiles are made? For MML, it all started over four decades ago in a small mosaic manufacturing plant in the quiet little town of Kluang. MML produces a wide range of tiles. In my hands are two of the most popular tiles it's producing. This is from the Mera Bush Hammer range that was originally designed for the Australian market. It is now very popular with Malaysian homeowners for its earthy, rustic colour. And here is a classic mosaic design that was first made in 1964. After so many years, it is still made by hand at its heritage plants. That is our next stop. Here, the basic process to produce tiles hasn't changed much through the years. A perfect collaboration of the human touch and precise machinery deliver the tiny coloured squares that many still prefer in their household today. The basic building blocks of tiles are a simple composition of raw clay and feldspar. The raw ingredients of clay are fed into crushes before it's sent to the bore mill. After going through a tank, a filter press and a dryer, they are stored to be pressed into shape and glazed. At this stage, the tiles are still in a bisque form that crumbles easily. Then they are sent to a tunnel kiln to be fired. After the tiles are baked, workers sort them out and glue them onto sheets of backing paper or netting for export. The heritage plant also offers custom-designed tiles. Experienced workers handpick the tiles according to the design and their precision is to a T. Saya lebih suka gunakan tangan. Sebab tu lagi saya rasa lagi baik tau daripada gunakan mesin. Tangan kita lagi saya rasa lagi pandai pilih daripada mesin. It's very hot, stuffy and noisy here. But many have been faithfully working under this roof for over 30 years. Saya telah berkhidmat di sini lebih kurang 30 tahun. Uh, saya bekerja di sini sebab mungkin uh, kampung halaman saya di sini dan takbiran di sini baik dan mungkin pendapatan yang kukuh buat saya kerja di sini lama. Uh, sebab apa kan banyak pekerja yang tahan lama dekat sini tentang perhubungan. Antara ketua ke dengan pekerja ke tak ada beza. Uh, kita bekerja sama. Jadi bila kita kerja macam gitu hati kita senang tau. Kerja berat pun jadi ringan. Some couples even met at the factory, got married and have their children working together with them now. Saya berjumpa isteri lebih kurang tahun 1981. Uh, dia bermula apa mula berkhidmat di Malaysia Mosaic sehingga sekarang lah. Um, and this plant has existed since uh, 1964. And uh, the technology that we are using now um, hasn't changed over the years. Uh, just a bit of addition here and there. And uh, workers have been with us uh, 30 years and, and more. And uh, since then, uh, Malaysian Mosaics has expanded into other processes in the other factories and we have modernized. MML started its full-body porcelain tile production plant called MMB2 in 1997. Another expansion followed in 2005. We are at MMB2, 
the MML's administrative center and its largest manufacturing plant in Kluang, Johor. Let's take a quick tour to see how tiles are made the modern way today. The new plant produces glazed porcelain and ceramic tiles. It uses state-of-the-art technology in the materials preparation process and spray drying. The raw ingredients of clay, feldspar and other chemicals are blended together in a wet milling process. At this stage, the ingredients resemble mud. Using a technology similar to the one in milk powder manufacturing, the raw ingredients emerge as fine as powder. Each square centimeter is then pressed with the weight of 400 kilograms. Towards the plant, we have another peculiar uh, part that is the new largest press in the market, where we can produce in one cycle three pieces of 60 by 60. This uh, uh, it gives us the possibility to produce acceptable high volume, maintaining the quality and the and the characteristic of the tiles as per the standard, our standards. The tiles are then sent to the kiln for firing at 1,200 degrees Celsius. That's really hot. Now, how do we get the designs on tiles? Some tiles are sent to the automated laser engraving. They are also glazed. Full-body porcelain tiles can even go through multiple firing. This creates the unique patterns, textures and colors that run through the entire tile. These ties are, uh, uh, as, uh, as the term says, uh, full-body porcelain ties. Means the color, the effect, the aesthetical effect, whatever you see, is throughout all the body. It's not only the surface. If uh, for any reason, after several years, after in the heavy traffic area, you have to polish again, you can remove another millimeter of surface, you still find exactly the same pattern, exactly the same color. It's not only surface, it's through how all the body. Human eyes and hands are still needed to check for inconsistencies or defects during quality checks. The towels are then packed into cartons, labelled and sent to the warehouse for export. What a lot of work goes into creating a single towel. We certainly appreciate the value of a humble towel now. Today, there are hundreds of choices catering to every budget or lifestyle. So do make a careful choice as these towels will last a long time. Chin Muyun, The Star, Malaysia.